Howdy cowdies. How you going? Hope you're good. Don't really care, but you know, they pay me to say that, or at least ask. Weekly walkabout time of the collector. We've got heaps of cool shit again this week. Lots of nice gold jewellery, necklaces and earrings and necklaces and bangles and earrings and other stuff, rings. Nice little, what is this, Aaron? Sargentson's Tasmanian Silver Spoon? Sargentson. Sargentson in the front there. He's pretty cool. Little Australian silver napkin ring. Nice little pair of miniature Dalton vases over the back as well. Pretty amazing little glitzy tiara. I think that's going to be the what's it worth for this week. Yeah, so we've got nice little sort of stick pins and stuff. More earrings and charms and gold. Nice little collection of silver spoons and a nice little sort of Christopher Dresser designed little porcelain box. Some other funny little bits and bobs. Silver, silver. Funny little monkey. A little sort of lion as well. Some nice little bits in the jewellery cabinet. <coughs> nice little deco hall table up the top there. He's cute as well, little display cabinet. Here's a nice little pair of sort of oriental style bedside cabinets. Pretty cool little sort of retro chest of drawers. Lovely little sort of dainty dining chair. Nice big Picasso print over the back in a pretty amazing big frame. And we've got some nice things, nice paintings I'll show you quickly. Uh, Herman Schweiger, I think it is. Hang on a sec. Who is it? Schweiger. There you go, Herman Schweiger. In Beaconsfield Parade, I think, 2006. Really nice example of his work from what I can see. This is a nice thing, the Vernon Jones Oil, Sydney sort of modernist commercial artist. Don't see much of his paintings, it's a ripper. Nice little Thelma Thompson etching, 1920s Australian artist. Sue Jarvis Watercolours, a ripper as well, of boats and stuff at Cornwall. This is a nice big Ian Gardner colour screen print sort of modernist abstract thing. Uh, I think Leanne Reed Wanjadari. Indigenous sort of mixed media there. Rainforest Dragon. This is pretty cool. A Stuart County. He's a Western Australian commercial artist. His son's a pretty amazing architect. Nice big watercolour there of a group at uh, Victoria Falls. This is a lovely big oil painting by Judy Ford. Sort of summertime poppies or something like that. Really nicely presented in the gilt frame. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Little Edwardian sort of style revolving book stand. I'll show you some more pictures in a minute. But there are some nice ones. All for this week. What else have we got? Glass balls, watches, more watches. A lot of sort of pins and sort of dressing table-y type stuff. Well, nice little watches here, a Seiko and another one which was used by the French military or Air Force or something. Cigarette cards, more sort of gold gents watches or gilded ones. They look like they're sort of digital and analog mainly. Big sort of bird cage, pictures, prints, Beatles stuff, Elvis stuff, a Godfather box DVD collection. Crafty gear, sewing machines and stuff. Pretty cool little sort of Back to the Future puffer jacket, sleeveless, motorbike jacket. Some gents and ladies clothing. Pretty cool lot of gents stuff. The Bisley Crimpoline shirt. And this thing. <laughs> I love this thing. Fantastic with the early embroidery and the pockets down the bottom. Band shirts, Alice Cooper, Bon Jovi. And this is pretty cool. Lovely Jenny Bannister, uh, Melbourne dressmaker. Lovely formal dress. Really quite nice. What else we got? Posters, Rotel, turntable, and nice little Yamaha receiver. Lights. Queen Anne, oh, there's some Royal Albert China in that box, military gear, records, clocks and stuff in here, all sorts of gear, another little group lot there, pretty China and some 70s tables, good speakers, records, mixed group lot, nice lot of 70s gear, Sadler, Palisade, Diana Pottery, three big boxes full of records, a couple of cool nude paintings up the top, what else have we got, toolboxes, more records and DVDs, posters, china, glassware, speakers, box of Australian pottery, big chunk of silhar on top, all sort of craft gear and stampy type stuff, tins, Christmas decorations, because you'll blink and it'll be that time of year, cool collection of prints and pictures, big oil painting over the back there of a tall ship, there you go. 
Yeah, so we got mixed group lots, tins, records, CDs, tools, coffee machines, speakers, keyboards, DVDs. This little collection of pictures. There's a nice little Theo Keeley watercolour here. Who probably is a pseudonym for Arthur R. Ward, we think. Nice little thing in amongst a group lot. Big box of EPs, pretty cool. Wooden stuff. Good little singer sewing machine, boxed up brand new. Lots of pretty china. Nice little sort of deco combination lamp and a little table unit. What else have we got? Bed head with the matching bedsides. Cute little Monarch portable turntable. A couple of Aldo Luongo prints. I mean, uh, acoustic is a nice one. Little golden books. There you go, the guard dog. Sears catalogues. APNS camera gear, art glass. Tins and sort of packaging, more glassware, books and ephemera, Stuart Crystal and EPNS, nice little collection of blue and white, paintings by Robert Panton, sort of modernist little things, little box lot serving china, big collection of pewter, nice big collection of sort of modernist china and other stuff as well, ephemera, magazines, newspapers. Uh, so we got here. This is nice a lot. This big Ronald Elliot Bull, Bull oil painting. Aboriginal artist. I don't think he lived to be very long. Only lived to be about 40 years old. This is a really nice example of his work. His mother Norma Bull paints lovely stuff. Good thing. I like this as well. A little oil painting there. Signed with the initials and dated 2007 on the back. Uh, a couple of cool clocks. A little bingo barrel. Some nice bits of glass. Little rocking horse is pretty cool. Nice little Victorian side table with a barley twist column. So we got some sort of coastal scene oils and watercolours. Richard Allsop. This one's not by, nice by Chris Wright. Um, bon Beach Panorama it's called. There you go. Some Japanese woodblock prints. EPNS, ladies bags, some good old bottles and stuff. Costume jewellery. Coca-Cola phone. Tins, pottery. Little Kokeshi dolls, quite nice with a little Oriental fan from the 60s. Beatles Magical Mystery Tour EP. Die casts. Nice little pair of ladies Hugo Boss heels. Cameras. Stamps. More stamps. This is pretty cool. It's like a bucket that someone's put a nice little brass bung in the bottom so you can sort of put water in it, hang it up from a tree and have a shower underneath it or something. Funny big Tom Dowling, I think it is, mixed media. The Ark, it's called. A couple of cool old sort of light shades and stuff. Ornithological colour lithos. Pretty cool big rug there from the Tokyo Olympics, I think, 64. Community cutlery set's quite nice. Nice collection of pottery in China. Another nice little Japanese woodblock. Pretty China. Nice little collection of glass. Nice big sort of Ellis style lamp. Some lobby cards. Collection of sort of 70s and other gear down the bottom there. And else we've got more watches, tins, some sort of clock and toy keys, a lot of Aboriginal stuff, it's kind of quite nice, some cool Calypso records, this little puppet's actually a bit funny, cool little puppet, a little ceramic feet on him, a couple of bits of signed glass, he's cool, a little Henning Norwegian timber carved snow devil, a little bronze African figure in the little sort of Hummel style. Cupid Awake, Cupid Asleep prints with some nice little sort of other bits and bobs. Games, tins and stuff. Yeah, so we've got jam labels. There's a nice little pair of Dalton, I think, Slater's patent vases, I think. Maybe Siliconware. More nice tins. A lot of Stuart Crystal. What else have we got? These interesting little Japanese dolls. Pretty china. Japanese porcelain. Nice pair of woodblock prints down the back. A little book down here is a bit interesting with colour maps of Victoria. A little sort of silk smokers caps, really cool. Nice little bit of glass. This little painting over the back I'll show you is quite nice, I reckon. It's unsigned. It's a lovely little impressionistic thing. Unusual palette. It's a lady, sort of middle left there, and it sort of looks like in an orchard, possibly. Really nice thing. Reminds me of Ina Gregory or some one of the Chartersville artists. Nice. Wedgwood vases, a bit of a Norwegian pewter. Uh, Royal Crown Derby. What else have we got? Roba. 
Peter and Alan Lowe. Nice little sort of modern nouveau style little sort of part tea set. More pretty china. Nice collection of glass. Little Arnell figure over the back there. Fantasia she is called. She's pretty cool. Little Japanese figures. Nice bit of glass. What have we got down the bottom? Nice Ansonia mantle clock. Lovely old gramophone with some records to go with it. Nice pair of little brass fire dogs. Pretty amazing, the big heavy sort of uh, metal plaque there. Little uh, beach bucket. Another nice four piece rover set there with the taller size pot over the back. Another nice bit of glass. Davidson's cloud glass. It's a nice little Australian tin, I think, home tea. What else have we got? Bee just putting some more shit no, down the bottom there, over yeah. the back. Yeah. Good on you, dude, next to those other ones. See, they're the same colour. Uh, art glass, carnival glass. Cynthia Cohen, I think, is their potter's name, who made the wall masks. They're really nice. Little reproduction bronze over the back. What else have we got? Australian carnival glass. Nice little bit of pool. Trisha Allen, Queen Victoria. More nice art glass, some pieces signed. These are a bit different, little sort of pottery domestic jars there, unusual shapes. They're marked, but it's hard to read. Little reproduction bronze froggy pull in a shell. And some nice bits at the top. Little bobblehead uh, kiss me at money bank. It's got a little sticker underneath being purchased from Disneyland. That's what we got. Another nice little robot teapot there. It's got the insert, red robin baking powder tin from South Australia. Another nice bit of art glass, which is unsigned, unfortunately. Berman top vases are nice. Yeah, there's some good shit this week. Hopefully you saw something you liked. You know, I don't really care if you did or if you didn't. We'll see you on Thursday night.